Okay, hello and welcome my friend and then really interesting thing that when I am testing that what is wrong in my car and I noticed that in one of my those cylinder compression test there is big failure and now I notice that in this cylinder there is no any pressure and I will show that. I insert first is my compression test hose in here and then there is this my compression tester and now everything looks like zero zero that it is ready for measurement and then I insert that my tester in here and then we can look and I insert my tester in here. We can look those amounts in here that how much there is pressure. And normally this pressure should be in here something like 9 bar. And now this unit is BAR and it is bar same amount like in tires. And next I go to start my engine and look what numbers there are. Okay, and that means that there is zero zero. And what that means? Now it means that in this cylinder and piston area there is huge leak. Maybe leak in piston, hole in piston, or then some crack in cylinder, uh, this um, tubes and those walls, or then maybe there is failure in these valves, e either uh, this exhaust or intake valve is damaged. Okay, there's at least uh, those three things, piston damage, cylinder head tube damage, valves damage, and then of course maybe the cylinder head gasket or then piston rings. But let's look and then I will show that what is normal pressure. Then I take this my tester and then all of these another cylinders they were fine and there was pressure about 9 bar, 9 bar, 9 bar and let's test when I take this my this testing hose and now I have by the way take out all of these spark plugs They're, all of these cylinder tubes they are free and we can actually check that what they look like and there's light and then we look in their inner we can see that there is hole no spark plug and no in there no spark plug in there no in there we can see piston and then in here no spark plug in here in that and then no spark plug in here and we can see piston also okay and then then I insert this my my cable this testing cable in this cylinder one now it's tight and then I insert my tester and then we can look those test results because this is interesting and let's look that what numbers we can see in there now, now it's visible and then I go to start this engine. Okay, and now we can see right away that there is 8.9 is this pressure and then when we look then when we look that closer we can see that yes, there is pressure 8.8 8. and there is this peak is in here 9 bar. 
Okay, and then that means that this cylinder, cylinder number one is okay, and then I can release this pressure when I press that switch. Okay, now there is no any pressure. Okay, interesting. And now there is really situation that three cylinders are okay, but one is zero. And let's go to look investigate that what is wrong in there but if that kind of situation we have it is really bad engine failure but i will show you that what is wrong in this engine and then we continue okay and then then i have made in here a little bit work and i have opened my engines this cylinder head and piston area and now I have also fi found and find the issue why I have this engine faulty code, this P300 and then P303. And now there is this my cylinder head area in here and this is like timing chain area and this is cylinder 1, cylinder 2 and cylinder 3. And I had issue in this cylinder 3 area. And now I a little bit I rotate my cylinder head. And then we can see that what is this my engine's issue. And in here, look, this is cylinder 3. And now when we look that why I have and I had this compression rate zero. And look in here, there is hole in in X house valve. And I can take this my screwdriver that I can show. There is my actually small tool in here. There is one part missing in here. And that means that now all of my this compression goes away and that's this piston area is like zero power, no any power because all compression air leaks to that exhaust manifold area. And now I believe that this my small part in here, this valve, what has been broken in here, in that area, it has been fly away in through that that exhaust exhaust uh, manifold area i am i am lucky because now this small particle it has been flied away through that exhaust manifold to this uh, exhaust pipe and maybe i believe that this my small valve part is in my catalytic converter and let's go to look that can i found that because now it has been flied in that area really huge speed and 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 maybe we can found that but I am really lucky because if this my intake valve has been it, if this in, intake valve has been broken then this particle it has been hit inside in this cylinder area but now when it is this exhaust valve it has been flied away and let's go to look also that what we can find next 